Hello, and welcome to the first YouTube video in quite a long time. Um, as you can see, my surroundings are different, and that is primarily due to the fact that I am in college now. Um, so, yeah. Uh, here in front of me, we have a Dell Latitude D520 that I was given recently, and I think I'm going to install GhostBSD on it. Um, it is a desktop BSG um, based on FreeBSD, and I think that um, Ubi just needs to try it. I've tried it on other systems in the past, and it didn't really work out for those systems specifically, so I look forward to giving it a try, and hopefully it will, you know, offer some utility on this system. Um, I... If, if not, then I'll probably just install, like, Hot Dog Linux or something. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, so let's just get this booted up so I can show off the system specs really quickly. Just so I can show off what we're dealing with. And, um, I don't know exactly if I'll, um, uh, bother with updating the BIOS if there even isn't new BIOS update available, um, but I suppose I'll see. And this is actually my first Dell Latitude in my collection, so that's something to note, at least for me, and for anyone else who tracks my collection, which I bet there is like probably like two of you. Here we go. So for a processor, we have a 1.66 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo processor. For memory, we have 4 GB of RAM, uh, 63 GB hard drive, Intel integrated graphics, 15-inch 10.4 by 768 display. Um, this does have Wi-Fi. battery, and, yeah, and I don't know why Nemlock always turns on, probably something in, what would that be, It's not terribly important. But anyway, as for ports, on the left side we have Kensington Lock Slot, IEEE 1394 Firewire, IR, one, I believe this is card bus. And This says PC card, but given the age of this laptop, I bet you this is card bus. And then audio in and out. On the back is where we have the both of our ports. Two USB ports, a modem, Ethernet, S video out, serial, VGA out, and power. And on the right side we have two more USB ports, and then the optical drive. So yeah, this is really your typical business laptop from the, you know, mid-2000s. This laptop came out in 2006, making it contemporaneous with laptops like the Lenovo ThinkPad T60, um, and other 60, 61-ish, like, ThinkPad laptops. Um, if I were to ever get a T60, it would be neat to do a side-by-side -side comparison. I do have an X61, but that is a sub-notebook and not a, like, full-size notebook like this is. So, on this USB stick, I have the Ghost PS Live installer. And... Let's 
بالنسبة لنا I do have to say, I really enjoy this older style of Dell boot screen versus the later 2000s Dell Latitudes, which had like the sort of skeuomorphic loading bar. I like the look of old stuff, which is probably why I like the like this better. But um, yeah. <laughs> The last time I owned a Dell laptop, it was an Inspiron, what, like, 8500 or something, um, from, like, 2004. It had an Intel Pentium 4M in it, uh, and something was messed up with the graphics, I think, because, um, yeah, it just had issues that, um, uh, I didn't quite know how to solve at the time, and now I may um, have tried more things, but at the time I, I was pretty young and didn't know much about like deeper troubleshooting. So let's boot from USB storage device. Boot multi-user. Okay, um, yeah, I don't think Ghost BSD will work. Um, <laughs> because X failed in any lies. So, um, hot dog Linux it is? Question mark? Okay, take two. That is, um, unfortunate. <laughs> this is really unfortunate. I don't have a mouse button. I don't have a primary mouse button. I mean, that may be motivation for me to do something that is, um, text-based, but for now, at the very least, I will use an external mouse. There we go. A primary mouse button is Sort of essential. Uh, let's see. Okay, so it's so the processor is specifically an Intel Core 2 Duo T5500. Now I should be able to. And now it's installing. <laughs> you know what they say: third time's the charm. So now I'm trying triplex. Try Oracle Linux. Open Indiana. Let's see if Debian works. And let's go with the live system first. Well, we're already off to a pretty promising start. It actually boots fully. Oh dear. No wireless drivers, though. Not a terrible issue, but, um... Yeah. But yeah, let's see if we can install it fine. 
and let's install. Okay, so um, interesting. I may have to admit defeat for tonight because um, I'm starting to like sort of be at a loss for like what to do. This computer has given me more problems than I've had for a while. I mean, it could be that I'm not connected to the internet, but I'd be surprised. Just cause, like, uh, oh, wait. Yeah, it's because I'm not connected to the internet. Um, so here we are, uh, next, next evening. Um, and so I got an ethernet cable in the mail today. And so um, I have internet connection sharing for my MacBook hooked up to this computer, and hopefully, this will work. So let's boot the live system, and see what sort of internet connection we have. Okay, so now we are booted up, and let's see what we have. Wired connection 1, it says it's connected. Um, It says it has an, an IP address. Um, and it can ping Google, so just for one last test, let's see if it can actually um, load the repository information for Synaptic. Uh, he is last time it, um, failed because it couldn't, um, download Grub. So, let's see. And it looks like it is good to go. So... I'm gonna install Debian again, I won't waste your time with actually, like, showing that, but, um... Yeah, I'm gonna install Debian again, and... I'll be back when it finishes the installation. Which, hopefully, will succeed this time. And there we have it. It is all done, so that means if I restart, we should restart into, um... Debian on my installed on the hard drive. So let's just take that out. And there we go. Now, now we just wait for it to boot. And here we are booted into Debian Linux on my Dell Latitude B520. Um, and yeah, so. I thought this would be a cool background, so I'll just copy this to pictures. And then. Open feel. Parents background. And we can get a um, theme to match. I don't know quite what I want yet, but um, definitely something darker. So here we have it. Um, let's see. This system is basically as configured as it can be at the moment. I have not yet um, figured out how to get Wi-Fi drivers on here. I think there should be a way, I just don't know how to. Because, like, there's only Ethernet and then loopback, but there is a Wi-Fi card in here. Um, but yeah. 
here's the system. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, hopefully I will make more videos soon. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful evening.